political parties are very important in the rise of democracies, in the formation of constitutional designs, in electoral politics and in the making and working of governments. This chapter helps us to know that political parties work as a vehicle of federal sharing of political power and as negotiators of social divisions. In this chapter, you will learn about the nature and workings of political parties in our country. Here you will get to know the national and regional political parties. We will also evaluate what is wrong with political parties and what can be done about it. Why do we need political parties? Political parties are one of the most visible institutions in a democracy. For ordinary citizens, democracy is equal to political parties. Less educated citizens may not know anything about our constitution or about the nature of our government, but they would know something about our political parties. A political party is a group of people who come together to contest elections and hold power in the government. They try to persuade people why their policies are better than others. They seek to implement these policies by winning popular support through elections. All the parties agree on some policies and programs for the society with a view to promote the collective good. Parties reflect fundamental political divisions in a society. Thus, a party is known by which part it stands for, which policies it supports, and whose interest it upholds. A political party has three components. They are the leaders, the active members, and the followers. Let us see the functions of political parties. First of all, contesting elections. Political parties contest elections. Elections are fought mainly among the candidates put up by political parties. In some countries such as the USA, members and supporters of a party choose its candidates. In other countries like India, top party leaders choose candidates for contesting elections. Secondly, Policies making. Poli political parties put forward different policies and programs so that the voters can choose from them. We may have different opinions and views on what policies are suitable for the society. A party reduces a vast multitude of opinions into a few basic positions which it supports. The policies and programs of the ruling party are expected to be followed by the government. Another function is making law. Formally, laws are debated and passed in the legislature, but since most of the members belong to a party, they go by the direction of the party leadership, irrespective of their personal opinions. Thus, political parties play a decisive role in making laws for the country. Next function is formation of government. The big policy decisions are taken by political executive that comes from the political parties. Parties recruit leaders, train them and then make them ministers to run the government in the way they want. So political parties form and run governments. The executive body is formed by people from the ruling party. Playing opposition. Those parties that lose in the elections play the role of opposition to the parties in power. Or a party which does not get majority or come under the majority coalition needs to play the role of opposition. Opposition parties mobilize opposition to the government. It puts forward its own views in parliament and criticizes the government for its failures. By doing this, it keeps a check on the ruling party. Shaping public opinion. Political parties shape public opinion. They do so by raising and highlighting issues in the legislature and in the media. Providing access to government machinery. For an ordinary citizen, 
it is easy to approach a local party leader than a government officer that is why they feel close to parties even when they do not fully trust them thus political parties provide people access to government machinery and welfare schemes implemented by the governments so contesting elections policies making making law formation of government playing opposition shaping public opinion and providing access to government machinery are the major functions of political parties what is the necessity of political parties or why modern democracies cannot exist without political parties if there are no political parties every candidate in the elections will be, will be independent so no one will be able to make any promises to the people about any major policy changes the rise of political parties is directly linked to the emergence of representative democracies as we have seen large societies need representative democracy as societies become large and complex they also needed some agency to gather different views on various issues and to the government they needed some ways to bring various representatives together so that a responsible government could be formed so political parties help in representing different views on various issues to the government they bring various representatives together so that a responsible government could be formed they work as a mechanism to support or restrain the government make policies justify or oppose them political parties fulfill the needs that every representative government has in a democracy any group of citizens is free to form a political party more than 750 parties are registered with the election commission of india but not all these parties are serious contesters in the election so the question there is how many major or effective parties are good for democracy in some countries only one party is allowed to control and run the government these are called one party system for example china but this system is not considered as a good option for democracy any democratic system must allow at least two parties to compete in elections and provide a fair chance for the competing parties to come to power in some countries power usually changes between the two main parties such a party system is called a two party system example the united states of america and the united kingdom if several parties compete for power and more than two parties have a reasonable chance of coming to power either on their own strength or in alliance with others it is called a multi party system for example india in this system the government is formed by various parties coming together in a coalition when several parties in a multi party system join hands for the purpose of contesting elections and winning power it is called a alliance or a front for example in india there were three major alliances in 2004 parliamentary elections the national democratic alliance or nda the united progressive alliance upa and the left front this system on one hand leads to political instability but at the same time allows for a variety of interest and opinions to enjoy political representation it is not easy to choose which of these system is better the multi party system often appears very messy and leads to political instability at the same time this system allows a variety of interest and opinions to enjoy political representation india has evolved a multi party system it is because the social and geographical diversity in such a large country is not easily absorbed by two or even three parties anyhow no system is ideal for all countries and all situations